Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the new active blocking mechanic I just added to RPG Builder. It's of course going to come in version 1.1. So as you can see here, we have an NPC shooting fireballs at me, right? And I would now be able to actually trigger my block and block it uh, based on many, many different settings that I'm going to cover in this video. The um, tire mechanic is very complex, very in-depth, and you have full control over how it works, how long you can block for, um, how powerful the block is and even more than that. So let's get into it. First of all, as you can see, um, I don't have any abilities on my action bar on right? So this, um, of course, is up to you because the active blocking is simply a new effect type. As you can see here, if I go to the editor, for example, new effect, and you can see that I can now select uh, blocking as a new effect type. So this means that because it's an effect, it can be triggered by pretty much almost anything you want, like abilities, items, interaction nodes, NPCs, pretty much anything you want. In this case, I decided for the uh, showcase video to not actually have like an ability coming from my talent tree, class or whatever, but instead having it as an action ability. So if you're not familiar with what action abilities are in RPG Builder, so let me select this item so here as you can see i have the tester shield equipped on my character it has some stat on it which i'm going to cover in a bit but if we look at the tester shield in um, rpg builder editor we can see that uh, i can't collapse this thing just to make it cleaner you can see that it has an action ability you can have as many as you want of course but in this case i just have one and it is the blocking test ability Obviously, the one I was using um, up to now to test the mechanic. But um, basically, what this means is that this specific ability is now attached to this um, item, Tester Shield. Meaning that as long as we have this item equipped, we can now use this ability. Now, it's not the topic of the video, but um, action abilities now support action keys. Uh, action keys are a new system I also added in RPG Builder and it is uh, one of my last videos so definitely check this one out also but basically it lets us uh, decide which key which rather action key should be uh, triggering this ability and in this case I set it to active blocking and that way the player can completely customize um, this key bind and trigger this action ability with the key of his choice so going back to the game as i said i have the tester shield equipped if i don't have it equipped i now press right click so right click is currently the um, block key and nothing happens right but if i do equip uh, the test shield again i can now block and everything is triggered so i'm not going to go um, close to the npc again because i want to show you a bit what all these things are so for example as you see here, when I hit um, the block key, quite a few things are happening. It's not just a simple, okay, I press block, I'm blocking, block is over, whatever. It's much more in depth than that. So let's go under um, combat effects and the blocking test effects that I was using. So here we just have one rank. We don't have any visual effect, no animation needed for all that, at least just yes. But we have a bunch of settings we can uh, play with here. The first one is the block angle. So this will define how wide of an angle um, you can block attacks, right? So if I go back to the NPC right now, I'm going to get a bit closer. Um, so as you can see here, I'm blocking the attacks, right? Because I'm facing him. Now we have a 45 uh, degree angle to block right now so if i for example uh, try to block here you see that i still get hit my timing is wrong right now wait i'm going to uh, change those values for the video just to make it easier so let's say uh, no charge time and block duration free just so that it's very easy to show you what i mean now so if i will go ahead and block now you see that my block is still active but i'm getting hit why? Because uh, the attacker is not in the block angle, right? So that's great. That's something you can play with and, um, you know, balance your game around, etc. Now, keep in mind that um, all these values here are not only possible for you to define on the effect itself, but they can also be affected by your character stats now. 
So if I go under um, stats here, you see that we have a lot of new stats, block active angle, block active charge speed, block active count, block active decay, uh, block active duration, flat amount, percent, etc. So all these are also possible to affect, um, to be affected by stats. So here, for example, you could have most of those values at zero and have it, um, you know, only defined by your character stats, for example. And uh, the fact that we have all these values as stats means that armors, weapons, consumables, abilities, anything can um, affect your stats. So for example, you could have a shield which is more powerful, which is exactly what I have here um, set up for the video. So we have the uh, tester shield one here and the tester shield two with a lot more stats and much more powerful block, which I'm going to be covering in a bit. And I'm going to go through the list of the things that you can play with here. So like we said, we just showed the block angle. This is very straightforward. We have the block count. So this is how many times can, um, can you, um, or rather how many attacks can you block within the same active block, right? So as you can see here, the default is zero. So you would say, okay, but then why am I able to block, right? Well, it's simple, like I just said, the uh, tester shield gives plus one block count. So if I equip this and start blocking, you can see that as soon as I'm blocking an attack, the block is over. Now, if I switch to the um, tester shield two, you see that this one gives plus two block count. So if I now go ahead and block, we block one time, two times, and now it's over. So that's pretty neat. Um, I think you're going to have fun with that also. Let's go to the next setting. Charge time. So this is optional, but I'm going to show you how it works. So if I set this to one second now, and I'm going to go back to, uh, well, I could just do this, to the normal shield. So charge time is uh, pretty much this time at which, uh, Kind of see it as a time you need to raise your shield so um, as soon as i hit the block keys if you have charge time you're not already blocking right so during the charge time you're still going to get hit so for example here you see i was still in the charge time so i took the damage but of course when the charge time is over the blocking is actually active and um all of this can of course be affected by stats so you see that uh, this one as a um, block charge, uh, minus fifty percent um, charge time, right? So this is affected by stats, just like anything else. So what else? Uh, like I said, this one is optional anyway, um, but I'm going to sell it to zero point three. This is pretty much uh, to make it even more rewarding to do a successful block, right? Um, limited duration. So this means that it's optional, but you can choose how long the block is for, right? So for example, if I would set this to 0 0.5, it will now be a lot more challenging to uh, block an attack. Because as you can see, well, in this case, I have extra block duration from this shield. So I'm going to remove this. To um, You see that the, the window at which I can block is very small now. So I'm going to try to time it well. I did, but it's a lot more challenging. So this is very cool because you can use that to uh, let your players block a lot more damage, but only um, in a very small window, right? So once again, it's all about balancing and game design, but I gave you a lot of options on that. Now, power decay. This is another thing which is optional. And uh, what this means is first, I'm going to explain how power works. So. Um, here, as you can see, I'm going to increase the duration actually, um, just so it's easier to see. So block duration, let's say 10, just for this uh, segment of the video. So here you see that um, we have, also first of all, we're not blocking because we're not looking at the NPC, so that's perfect, I can keep talking. Here, bottom left, we have a number, and bottom right, we have another number. The bottom left one is the flat amount of damage that's going to be blocked. And once again, this can be defined by the effect or by the um, 
uh, item or stats or whatever, right? So in this case, we see that this shield is giving us plus five block flat amounts. Now, the bottom right number is a percentage. So first I'm going to show you the front. So as you can see here, we will be hit for 20. And now we get hit by 11. And the reason for that is because this effect is set to block any kind of effect. So we take five damage less from magical and five damage less from fire. That's also uh, another thing I'm going to cover a bit later. Now, if I will go ahead and equip the other shield, you see that this one is giving us plus 100% block modifier. So in this case, we take zero damage. And now you see that bottom right, we now have 100% uh, damage blocked and we can be hit two times by this one. Now, the power decay is very cool. If I turn this on and for example, set it to 10, the uh, block power, so both the flat and the percentage will go down over time. As you can see now, bottom right, it's going quite slowly in this case. So let's um, make it faster. Also, it's going slowly because this shield um, is giving us minus 80% block decay. But I'm still going to make it faster. So uh, decay speed, let's say 50. And you see that now we lose percentage a lot quicker, which means that as the beginning of the block is going to block 100%, but as the block is active, it's going to go down less. So once again, this is uh, to give a lot of option on um, how you configure it, but also to make it even more rewarding when you actually successfully block, right? Uh, so this will encourage your players to time it perfectly so that they block when the percentage is the highest or the flat amount. Uh, the next one is uh, block knockbacks or not, or rather no, uh, we have block flat amount and block percent amount. But yeah, this pretty much is a base value for this effect. And then it's also affected by the stats, like I said. So um, if I would wanted to add now 50 flat damage block to this effect, I can do it and you see that now bottom left, I also have uh, some flat amount of damage um, blocked and it's also going down over time with the decay. Now, uh, the next one is, uh, is it blocking knockbacks or not? So uh, I did not make a video about this yet, but you can, there is a knockback mechanic now in RPG Builder. So let me show you this quickly. Um, I'm going to just enable a knockback effect on the fireball. So you see that now uh, if I get hit by this fireball, I'm getting knocked back. But if I block it, I'm no longer getting knocked back. And now see uh, blocking is inactive again and I get knocked back, right? So that's pretty cool. It lets you um, choose exactly how it should work. And below that, finally, um, the important part. So uh, the option on which or rather what type of damage could be blocked. So uh, you have the option to block any type of damage. So in this case, of course, physical, magical, whatever type, right? If you turn this off, you can then choose should it block physical or magical damage. And uh, these are for the base damage type, right? So either physical or magical, it could be both, of course, or it could be only one of each. Um, but on top of that, you can also choose to uh, block custom damage type. And this is not predefined. This is defined by you in the um, game settings, right? So if you go under combat, stat function here, you have fire damage, cold damage, etc. These are all the custom damage types that you um, create. And it lets you define that. Now, if I will go ahead and set it to only physical damage, I will no longer be able to uh, block this um, fireball, right? So as you can see now, the block is active, but I'm taking the damage anyway because I'm not able to uh, um, block magical damage. And the way it's working is because if I look at the fireball damage effect here, which is whatever effect it's, is hitting us now, you see that it's set to magical damage and fire damage. Now. If I go back to here, um, I still leave this off. Now I say that fire damage can be blocked. 
you see that if I now block, I'm still taking damage because I'm taking the damage from the magical damage part, but the fire damage is getting um, blocked properly. So that's pretty cool. And um, I'm going to go out of range just quickly. Yeah, and like I said, you can add your own types. You can add multiple ones. So for example, if you wanted this specific effect to block only fire and shadow damage, that's totally possible. So that's pretty much it for um, the entire list of uh, settings and parameters that you can play with. And, you know, like I said, you have the stats also. And um, in this case, I want to show you a bit more like what those uh, two different sheets are doing. So right now you see that it's giving us plus 100% block angle, which means that um, I kind of want to turn off the knockback, to be honest, otherwise it's going to keep pushing me away. So I'm going to uh, set this effect to 0%. Okay. Now, so you see that now because plus 100% uh, block angle, we should be able to block from many, like a very wide angle, right? So now I'm blocking and I'm not really looking at it, but it's giving us 100% chance. Same for the block count. Um, I can just add myself, for example, some stats, count, uh, block, active count, let's say five up. Oh. If I now go ahead and block, you can see that it's not going to stop before seven because we already had two by default, right? So very easy to configure and very fun to play with. Now the charge time speed. So um, in this case here, we have a charge time duration of 0 0.3. I'm going to make it one second just so that it's more obvious. And now, as you can see, we have a very long duration, right? Because of the um, increased plus 200% block duration coming from this item. The decay is also a lot um, slower because we have minus, you know, 80%. So yeah, it's very, very fun to play with. A lot of things you can configure. Um, I'm very happy with like the system in general. Now it looks kind of ridiculous with the current settings. Uh, it's, it's not really making any sense, but yeah, you get the idea. So I hope you like it. Uh, let me know in the comment and on Discord what you would want to see added or improved or whatever, because there are still quite a few things I want to add to the system, and I'm most likely going to be uh, making an update video. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.